What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to American Horror Story Season 2 Episode 8, which is titled Unholy Night, which makes me think this is going to be a Christmas episode, which is cool. I mean, I like when there's holiday special episodes. It's always fun to have, so I, I guess we'll just get right into it. Hopefully it's something interesting. Last episode, unfortunately, I believe Grace died. Not happy about that, but, you know, I guess someone has to get killed off. Um... I mean, unless maybe she did live. I don't know. I know. I think she died. She, I think she was deader than dead at the end of the last episode. So, yeah, let's just see where things go from here. If you want to watch the full cut reaction, that'll be my Patreon link. That will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's watch. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Now you be good and listen to your mom. They're closed. Come on. I think the stock market is open till nine. He's going to be pretty steamed at you if he doesn't get that ass. Huh? Oh, I love this actor. He's in John Wick, Game of Thrones. Hey, buddy. I'm just ringing the bell two nights a week to get out of the house till my wife falls asleep. Damn! Holy shit! Does that guy just kill Santa Clauses? Is that his thing? Hi, sweetie. This is a fantastic train set. He's in some random person's house. Where's your beard? I shaved, it was scratchy. <laughs> Christmas isn't for six days. That's what you get for letting Rudolph organize your calendar. And it would explain the lack of milk and cookies. What's your name, sweetie? Oh, no. It's not Christmas yet, baby. Haven't you been keeping your advent calendar? It's wrong. Shanna's here. Oh, my God. I have a, a safe upstairs under the bed with $5,000 cash in it. You want to know why I chose your house? Your Christmas decorations. What? Christ, man. I mean, what are you trying to prove out there? Huh? What's wrong with a little Christmas spirit? How much do you want to bet he's a kid who, like, never had a good Christmas experience? So he just hates Christmas? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what Santa's going to leave under your tree tonight. He's going to leave a little terror. A little... You keep your hands off her. Oh my God. You know the difference between that Santa Claus and me? He only comes once a year. Please, please leave us. I have to finish my list, huh? Holy shit. How is this going to connect to what's going on to Briarcliff? I don't know. Wait, wait, well, this was 1962, right? That's two years before our current story, right? I'm not feeling very Christmassy. Damn. Holy shit, what the hell's going on? Oh my god. I'm curious to know what his full motivation is. Like I said, I think it probably has something to do with him, him hating Christmas. That's my guess. They're playing a different song? Oh, well, it's not, you know, it's not ran by Sister Jude anymore, so I guess she can do whatever the hell she wants. <laughs> it is nice to hear some different music here, though. Christmas is back. After last year's debacle, Sister Jew told you we'd never celebrate Christmas here again. Well, I say, bah humbug. <laughs> you wear dentures, don't you? The dentures as a Christmas ornament? Why? Yeah, that is a doll that lady has. For some reason, I thought it was a baby the first time I saw it. <laughs> oh my god. Hanging their hair from the tree. I beg of you. Loving kindness. Yeah, Grace is dead. This police officer, this is a, this. Holy shit. This guard here, he seems like, he doesn't seem like a bad dude for the most part. Like from when we've seen him. I'm going to make things right. You have my solemn word. Like he, he does seem generally like a decent guy. Like out of anybody who works here at Briarcliff, he seems like the most normal for the most part. Not completely. We should call the police. I think we should tell them what happened about Kit Walker, about Sister Felicity. You, you should. Are you quite sure you want to bring the authorities into this? You know, I'm ready to face whatever consequences come from me. And I'll see what I can do. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like, he's not like, he's not like an evil guy. You know what I mean? I felt that way last episode when he had that little moment with Miles there where he was talking to Miles and then he ended up dying, obviously, but you know. I've been asking oh, myself shit. the devil can move so oh, freely oh. here among the sacred icons. Oh. And then I realized it's her. You're using Mary Eunice. Her purity is a Wow, she knows this. I were to slit this soft throat and release her soul to heaven. Then where would you go, foul thing? I might just jump into you. 
She could do that. She did that last time. She just jumped into a different body. Well, the, the demon jumped into a different body. What are you going to do? Came the devil out of me. Whoa. Oh, shit. Sister, may I have a word? Co security. We have an intruder. Our former Irish cop is feeling the need to confess. She's gonna kill him. I've got it under control. God damn. Oh, this guy's been in Briarcliff. This guy's been in Briarcliff. Wow. Is she giving him a Santa outfit? Oh, oh shit. Are you ready to go? Oh, she mentioned something that happened on Christmas. Did it involve him killing some people? These cuffs, huh? They're heavy and they dig in. Where's your Christmas spirit, sister? What do you take me for, an idiot? Huh? <laughs> you kill 18 people from five families. 18? Oh my God. Nothing like a picture of happy, shiny faces to take away the guilt of locking us away. He reminds me of Robert De Niro a lot. The picture is to remind the public that without Briarcliff, you would be out there living among them. Mm. I'm surprised he didn't. I mean, I know, I know, I guess he was deemed to be insane, but that sounds like something that you would, you know, get the death penalty for. Killing 18 people from five different families. Like, shit. Oh my. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Your beard goes perfectly with the suit. <laughs> Oh, what? This is just not going to be good, man. I know you were a petty criminal thrown in jail for shoplifting a loaf of bread. And while you were in there, the jailers went caroling in the cell block and five men held you down and took your virginity. Oh, so that's why he hates Christmas and decides to take it out on other people? You see, I, I knew who deserved to live and who deserved to die. The, the, who was naughty, who was nice. You had the power leave. You killed family for having Christmas lights that were too extravagant, I guess. <laughs> Interesting character, though. Like, out of the show, so good with that, though. They just, they bring out these such, you know, unique characters. Did you celebrate Christmas in your Nazi household? <laughs> we had wonderful Christmases when I was a boy. They're some of my fondest childhood memories. I brought you a Christmas present. Since you've now become my family. You're joking. How adorable. Mother of God, are they real? Very. Rubies are the most glamorous of all. They belong to a Jewess in the camp. No, that's fucked up. She was constantly complaining to me about her stomach problems. And as a doctor, I thought I ought to do something about it. I followed her one day, thinking I might diagnose her condition if I had a stool sample. You stole her poop? On her hands and knees, picking through her own feces to retrieve those earrings. She confessed to me that she swallowed them. You know, I wouldn't want to wear those for multiple reasons, but knowing that they were in poop, uh, uh. Look how beautiful they are on me. They were in feces. I so dearly hoped you'd throw them back in my face, that you couldn't bring yourself to touch those shit-stained earrings. <laughs> I was hoping there'd be a glimmer of horror, a glimmer of that precious girl. Yeah, he knows she's not the same. So he did really love the innocent part of her more than anything. He knows he's evil himself, but he liked the innocent part of her. Your sister Mary Eunice says she's going to do something, then you have to believe it has been done. You need to stop fretting. That nun looks familiar. Is that? That's not James Gunn's wife, is it? Another unfortunate soul. It looks like her, but I don't know. But although our ideologies may differ, I believe our commitment to Briarcliff is equally matched. What is this? I think you must know how hard it was for me to come here. To turn to you, of all people. You were right about Sister Mary Eunice. Yep. I had hoped to come up with a medical explanation for it, but I can't. Yep, it's all involving spiritual stuff. No science involved, really. She doesn't know I'm here. You're afraid of her? No, that's not it. I have my work to do. Can't be babysitting a deranged nun all day long. <laughs> Go to hell. So does he want her to come back then? Yeah, I you guess. You're right about me too. I don't believe in God, but I do believe in evil. 
Oh shit. I've seen it up close and personal. I have no doubt. That's why her purity meant so much to me. She had this light in her. The light's gone out. Holy shit. Dude, the depth to all these characters is so good. Please help me. I'm doing this for her, not you. I must confess, I was more than a little concerned with your instincts to offer him Christmas without Jess. But look at him, a renewed soul. What do you say? We he's gonna. He's gonna kill someone. We are watching Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. What a treat! <laughs> <laughs> little Christmas flashback with them? Or no, because she's pregnant, so this isn't a flashback. This has got to be a dream. Why don't you just get baseball and football? And how to change a tire. Oh, shit. Grace. <laughs> What's this about? I'm so sorry, Grace. Yeah, this is a dream. The police are still looking for you. Oh, God. If they don't know you're here, they don't know what happened to me either. Mm hmm. No one is coming for either of us. That's true. And he's still out there. I need to call the police. They're gonna fry me. No one is gonna fry you, kid. You're innocent. And I can prove it. It was threat soon. He murdered those women, not you. That means he killed Alma too. But why why did they see Alma why did Grace see Alma with the aliens though? I never thought I would see it. What's that? You two working together? The day you and I would work together. Yep. <laughs> I'm happy and grateful to leave Briarcliff in your capable hands. I'm telling you, that Santa guy is going to start killing people. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Well, they stopped him quick. Two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> oh. Mary must have told him to kill Frank then. She calling the police. No. Holy shit! He just walked back in. I'm making a toll call. Oh my god. Oh shit! She's gonna kill him. She's gonna kill him. I think he did. Oh shit! Damn. No. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> she now wants him to kill Sister Jude now too? What are you doing here? I'm here to open my present. Oh god. And she locked it. I trust now my loyalty is no longer in question. What? Oh, that son of a bitch. I mean, he's already a son of a bitch, but now he's an even bigger son of a bitch. He's a son of two bitches. Get down and open this door. Put the lion's share of blame on that sexy little sister. She really doesn't like you. Oh, I love this music. <laughs> I think I'd rather tell you about my fantasies, like the one where I jam this gigantic crucifix up your ass or the other one. What the fuck? Sister, where's your sense of Christmas spirit? Nah, I'm just beginning to feel the comfort and joy. Damn. Does this offend your delicate sensibilities? Actually, I find it rather tedious. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more pressing matters to take care of. Holy shit. How did you find me? Well, you were in a car accident, Lana. The details were in all the papers. Escaped mental patient, return to ward. You'll never get away with it. Not as long as I have a voice. Was oh, that what you were doing on the phone? You were going to call the police? You know what I've been doing since you left me? I've been in mourning. You made me kill Bloody Face. I've been through every inch what? of my house with a toothbrush cleaning up. Oh. I've lost so much recently. I feel like I've been set adrift in the open sea. But now that you're here, so close to me again, I feel like I've been found. <laughs> Ain't no way he's gonna kill her. Ain't no way. Come on, where's Kit? Come on. Someone's gotta do something. Bloody face had to burn so he could be born again. Your skin will be the start of a whole new bloody face. There's gotta be someone. Oh, oh, hell yeah, Kit. 
Well, someone's got to save her. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I take that back. Maybe God is here. No! My welts never healed. No sunlight. You probably got them for good reason, to be honest. <laughs> there is a Santa Claus. We have to kill him. Yeah, do it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait a minute. Stop it. We need him. Oh, no, actually, He's Kit's right. Thing standing between me and the electric chair. Yeah, Kit's right. Even for her, though, too, like, you need... If you just kill him now, you're just gonna get in trouble for killing him, and they don't know what he's done, and if he hid all the evidence, you know? He's right. As much as I want to say, like, yeah, killing him would be easier, but nah, he is right. What the hell? Oh, the alien? It's gotta be the alien, right? It's The flashing lights always come when the alien comes. Did he? It took her body. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, she grabbed a weapon. Oh. oh. Holy shit. <laughs> One day I'll bury you. <laughs> you know, I hope so. Wow, okay, that was incredible episode. Having a whole Christmas theme made it really, really interesting, especially all the Christmas music there. But that new character was probably one of the most interesting characters they've added the, out of the season. Just, I, I don't know, there's something so interesting about these like psychopath characters because you want to kind of learn their, what the motivations are. They're always really twisted motivations with really twisted ideologies, but they're interesting. They're unique. They're they're fun to watch on screen and seeing them get killed is usually quite satisfying like we saw there at the end. <laughs> um but there was a lot of other stuff going on. It wasn't just the whole Santa Claus killer psychopath guy. You also had more stuff with Sister Mary Eunice. Now Arden tricking Sister Jude was actually surprising to me. I did not see that coming. I genuinely thought he was trying to, you know, work together with her, but Guess you can't really trust him, so that makes sense. And then, of course, Kit saving uh, Lena, which led to the capture of Oliver. But obviously, I don't think that's going to last that long. I guess we'll have to wait and see. We don't have a lot more episodes left. I think there's only like five more episodes left of this season, maybe six. I can't do the math right now in my head, but um, how many episodes? Is it 13 or 14 episodes? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. But... Um, I think it was 13. Yeah, I think it was 13. So we only have a few more episodes left, but I cannot wait to see how this is going to wrap up because it's been an incredible season so far. I'm really loving it. Definitely like it more than season one. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. If you want to see Fallout Reaction, don't forget to check out the Fallout Reaction on my Patreon. Links that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.